All right, well it is Wednesday, it is the day before Thanksgiving, and I am here at the shop today because I have a whatnot sale to prepare for. We are getting ready for the big Black Friday sale. I was actually invited by whatnot to participate in this sale, so I feel like this is a bigger deal than most of my whatnot sales, so I'm a little stressed about it. Most of my sales, I'm like, oh, we're having a whatnot sale, it's gonna be fun, and this one, I'm like, this is stressful. This is a little bit more stressful than most. Um, so for today, I'm going to get all of my items pulled. I'm going to get my thumbnail taken. I'm going to have all of my items photographed. I'm going to get them all preloaded. Like it's, there's going to be a lot more happening today than normal because I can't just get a few things preloaded and then be like, I'll do the rest on the day of the sale. I have to really push myself to get it all done um, before the day of the sale, like before 10 minutes, because sometimes it's like 10 minutes to the sale and I'm still pushing stuff in and I'm like, ah, it's all right, it's all cool, but no, this is a lot of pressure. Um, so today we're gonna get all that done. That is the plan. Um, so in case you didn't know, um, we're having a Black Friday sale on whatnot. Um, and it's going to be at 6 p.m. Eastern on November the 24th of 2023. So, um, first things first, I'm going to unpack the stuff that we purchased at Adams Antiques the other day because the things that I purchased in that video, with the exception of the paperweights that are going into my paperweight sale, which I do have on the schedule. I finally scheduled that sale. I'm gonna have to see how many paperweights I have and then maybe go shopping between now and then for more paperweights. But I have that on the schedule. I think I scheduled it for um, the second week of December. So we have it on the schedule. Um, but an anyway, um, everything in that video except for the paperweights um, are going into my Black Friday sale. So, um, yeah, let's go and pack that stuff and we will go from there. Let's head into the shop. Here we go. Okay, well, it's looking a lot better than it was the other day. You can see uh, Shelby was in. Some of the stuff had been processed. Um, over here, the pile of boxes were broken down. We have a few left. This is still the stuff that was brought back. We processed some pigs, got them out of here with our pig sale. Um, there's an empty space again in the middle of the floor. This stuff is all ready to be priced. I actually have uh, the tags in the system. They just have to be printed out, slapped on, boxed up, and taken over to the booth. Um, I'm going to price some of those uh, chalkboard dogs as well. Um, and we're going to get this some of this moved over to the booth. But um, that's not our task for today. Our task for today is... This box right here, I'm pretty certain this is the one. I think. Is it? It is not. It's not the box. Darn it. I was really hoping the first box I went to was going to be the one. But it is not. <laughs> now i got to find the box. Um, let me think for a moment where that box may be. It was a small box. I remember carrying it out and being like, this is a really small box for $1,100. I will find it. There it is. There's the box. Made on top is that awesome Blue Jay dresser jar. Um, so they did leave the tags on these. I'm going to have to use my Scotty peeler and hopefully they just pop right off. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go get a rolly cart. I'm going to process this stuff out here just in case I need to access the sink. I'm going to separate out the paperweights, but i got to take those to the back anyway. And uh, we'll see how many items we have in the box. Alright, so I came over to the sink to grab the Scotty Peeler and I found the bowls. If you remember the bowls from the heart of Ohio. The one had really bad hard water stains. And unfortunately, I haven't bought the bong cleaner yet. So I decided to try some um, denture tablets. So I stuck a denture cleaner in there. We're going to leave it overnight. Um, you can see it's all foaming up. Hopefully it's working at that stain. We'll see what happens. We'll come back tomorrow, maybe two days from now, see if it got that stain out of there. And if not, I will invest in some of that bong cleaner you all have been raving about. 
here are a few items um i'm a little <laughs> i'm a little worried i got a text from tommy that uh that he has one of the items that they forgot to stick in my box and i'm wondering if it's the scorpion I'm wondering if it's I, I plan to go up and visit tommy i already told him that so he's like i have one of the items they forgot to stick in your box um i think it might be the scorpion which isn't the end of the world i mean they know i frequent up there so i'll go up and get it um but i was excited to have that for the sale so we'll just have it for the next sale So beautiful. That's the lid to a trinket dish. We'll see, but I'm not seeing something small enough to be a scorpion in there. Okay, there we have it. Here is everything from Adam's Antiques. Minus the scorpion. I was correct. That was the item that was missing. But that's okay. I'm sure Tommy is keeping it very safe. He probably has it on a shelf. He's probably babying it. It's probably his new pet. Um, and I will go and see him and I will, I will reacquire the scorpion and I will feature it in an upcoming sale. And the great thing about that is I get to do some shopping at the vintage kitchen. Um, so it all works out. Uh, but the paperweights I will set aside for that upcoming paperweight sale. Um, Peter actually ID this one for me, which was awesome. I can't remember what he said, but he, he was like, I know what that one is. And then he sent it to me. Um, so I think that gives me enough for a paperweight sale. And then, of course, the Lundberg, the, uh, Robert Held, I'm gonna let go of, even, even though I have a little collection. Um, I'm gonna let go of this. This, I could not figure out the marking on the bottom. But I love that iridescence, that oily sheen. This glows like crazy. And, uh, yeah, there's some nice stuff here. So I'm going to wheel this into the back. Actually, you know what? Let's head over to the table over here, the processing table. We'll, we'll add to it. Uh, the lamp I set aside because I feel like that is better suited as a buy it now. The bumblebee traffic cone is going to take a special buyer. Okay, well, I'm going to start over here at the sink and grab a few things. Uh, I know this is fantastic. I think it might be neodymium. Um, there is some color shifting going on there. Let's take it over by the door. I can see it in some natural light. Yeah, it definitely looks a little bit more blue in the natural light than it does over by the sink. So I do believe that this is a neodymium. Small wet vase. Beautiful polished base. I'm gonna stick that on the cart. I bought that at Heart of Ohio. Actually, I think all this stuff came from Heart of Ohio. <laughs> this, I suspect, is West Germany. It was the colors that did it for me. I love orange, bright orange is my fave. I'm gonna sell the cat, I'm sure. Stick that over here. I'm going to come over to the table. Uh, we have this set, decanter set. This is made in Taiwan, so it's not Italian. We have a decanter set. The pink vase that Kate handed off to me. Um, I forget the name. Something. I can't remember. But what's really cool about this is it's actually layers of porcelain that have been carved away. So you can actually see the layers there on the top. So it's white, and then it's that darker color, and then the pink. And then they've actually carved it away to give it that layered look. And it does appear to be older. There's an older mark on the bottom. You know that Kate loves the pink. And <laughs> she's I'm like, are you sure you don't want it? She's like, if I bought that, I would keep it. There are several things in this shop that I've bought to resell and ended up keeping. So I totally get that. So we're going to sell that. This is Vilroy and Bach, or Bosch. I've been told to say it both ways, and when I'm told to say something a zillion different ways, um, I never know how to pronounce it. <laughs> I say it one way, and I'm told I'm wrong. And then I correct it, and I'm told I'm wrong that way as well. And so we'll just say Vilroy and Bach. 
Um, what is Oh, this. Okay. Um, I don't think you saw that one yet, actually. So let's not dig into that. But this is Heart of Ohio. And I know that you've seen all of those videos. That is the, um, the Shoji Imperial set. Right on top. art glass I would guess and I would guess wrong because it's actually a giant colorful Italian fish we can add that to our sale there could be some really fantastic stuff in this sale <laughs> cat planner I feel like I should probably pick some items off of the table as well get some of this stuff cleared out uh, so I have this dish. I think that this is a spoon rest. Oh, we have this yellow creamer, which, again, it's those bright colors. I love some bright colors. We'll stick that up here. Scoochy, scoochy. This is very cool. And unfortunately, it's a single cup. And it's bright and it's yellow and it's cheerful on these gloomy wintry days. That is art and pottery with a floral frog inside. I wish that was signed and maybe it is, but I don't I don't know. Maybe it's also just scratched. There's another fun piece. Marked on the bottom. Could also be West Germany. Got kind of a textured lava glaze. It's coming together. We'll add this to the cart. I wonder how many items that is. I know it's definitely not 40 to 50. I feel like that's a pretty decent start. blown glass drinking vessels. I decided to come over here and check out what I had on the table. I kind of like this. It's clear glass. Oh, it's wet. <laughs> There's water inside. I wonder if I cleaned that and just set it over here. You can see all of mom's post-it notes for Christmas. Stained glass in the window. Oh, she wants she wants to sell my my stained glass in the window. That's something I would have to think about. I love that Christmas tree. You guys were with me when I bought that. Um, what do we have over here? I think that's good for now. That art glass. Okay, so here is our paperweight collection. I'm gonna add to that real quick. Ta-da! Now I know there are still a few more in boxes from Ohio, um, so we'll wait to see when those are unpacked, but I think we're in pretty good shape. All right, well, I'm going to add a few more things to the cart. Um, Andrew's currently on the phone. You guys know he's a loud talker, but we're going to try to talk over it. He's having a very loud phone call. <laughs> uh, let's try to sell this again. I think this was canceled the last time. I don't recall why it was canceled. I think they accidentally bid too much, if I remember. Just gonna check it over again and make sure that um I don't think there was any damage to it. Yeah, let's add that back. We'll sell it again. It's very pretty. I got that from uh, Jacob. Jacob and Josh. Um, since we're doing free shipping, I think this guy might be a little a little scary for free shipping. But this trinket dish we can include. I don't Again, I don't know why that one was canceled. We will add that in. And I think I'm going to go with that for now. I did add this doll. I added her. Uh oh, she's losing her shoe. I have to stick that back on. I think that's all I added. Right? I have a few more things down on the bottom, but I'm going to do those by it now. 
So I think we're good. I'm going to start photographing. I have to get a thumbnail image taken. And um, let me just check over the shelves one more time. So down in the corner we have our Jack in the Pulpits. We are building a Jack in the Pulpit sale, which I bought some really amazing Jack in the Pulpits at the glass show. So this is coming along nicely. We've got a cute little collection there. Paperweight sale. I finally scheduled it. We're going to do it. We're going to sell some paperweights. Got a few favorites in here. This is one of them. And the back. Oh, so pretty. So busy, so pretty. And then also the Perth Shear. I just love the blue. It's so beautiful. The floral. The fishy. There's some fantastic ones. So that, I think, will be the second weekend of December on Sunday, 6 p.m. Eastern. Um, over here... Maybe we'll throw in some Hagen Renegers. It's been a minute since we did that. This one has a little chip on the ear. But I did tell you I had some piggies. So maybe we'll sell a pig. Here's Mama Pig, but I think she's got a chip on the tail. If you remember, I found all of these at Goodwill. They were all on a shelf, and I just cleared off the shelf. And uh, so some of these... Some of these are a little, a little um, chipped up because I didn't really inspect them. I just grabbed them all. I think this cat might be good. Nope, oh, it's got a chip on the air. So I'll go through them. I'll add a few Hagen Renegers. All right, so I decided to go for the thumbnail first, and this time around I did it on a white background. Normally my thumbnails are on the black background, but I think the white worked out this time around. Um, Hopefully. <laughs> I really wanted that piece in the back uh, with the, the oil sheen to pop. And I felt like on the black background it might get a little lost. So, I don't know. I mean, I don't think the thumbnail is a huge deal. But I felt like the white was the right way to go this time around. So, now that that is done, I'm going to start photographing these things. Um, I was just looking at the requirements for this sale. For anyone who has not been involved in a whatnot sponsored event or even a, a group train, there's always like requirements and like things that you have to do to be involved in these things. Um, even, you know, just user sponsored trains, like if somebody's having a train, there's usually certain things that they want the people in the train to do. Um, and so for this particular event, I was looking through the requirements and I only need to have 10 items preloaded. So it's not as scary as I thought. I'm like, oh my gosh, today I have to photograph 50 things and I have to have 50 things preloaded. So only having to have 10 preloaded is not that bad. So um, I do think we're going to have some coffee available for Black Friday. I do have some leftover from the last um, the last sale and I just received word from our coffee roaster that she is sending some more coffee She just put some boxes in the mail today um, Now today is Wednesday tomorrow is Thursday, which is Thanksgiving, so I don't even know if that'll be here on time It might not be here, but it might be here for the paperweight I know it'll be here for the paperweight sale and for the paperweight sale I will have 25 bags of all of our standard flavors so you know that snicker poodle chocolate banana um and all of all of the oldies but goodies so um that'll be great for the paperweight sale but it's only 25 bags of each so it's probably going to go pretty quickly so there it is there is how it turned out i'm just waiting on confirmation that that's okay i just put glass pottery and trinkets free shipping because we are offering free shipping um, unfortunately, after speaking with Whatnot, uh, there's no way to offer international free shipping through their system. Like, it's just, they don't have a way to offer that. So, we can only offer free shipping to the United States at this time, which is kind of a bummer because Andrew and I wanted to extend that to our international um, shoppers, but uh, there's no way to do it through whatnot. So uh, we can only do it do the domestic free shipping at this time. So um, free shipping for our U.S. buyers, and uh, yeah. So I think it turned out turned out all right. All right, I decided to add this kitty cat. It's kind of fun. Getting through it. Getting through it. I decided to first photograph in the black box. 
This is why I like having two set up at the same time because I don't have to constantly be pulling the colors out of the boxes. I just switch between the boxes. It's really nice to have all this set up. Um, and I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna try to take as many photos as possible and then get this stuff preloaded. Okay, I feel like I'm at a good place with this sale right here. And I'm gonna switch gears from the Black Friday sale. I'm probably gonna do my preloads while I'm getting my hair done because I have to go get my hair done in about 15 minutes. Um, so <laughs> I'm getting my hair done. I'm gonna do my preloads on the Black Friday sale get that all finished. I'm going to take you guys very slowly this direction over to the paperweight sale. I'm going to start uh, preloading the paperweight sale. It just makes sense. So I'm going to photograph these in my last 15 minutes here at the shop and uh, start getting those um, preloaded. Uh, that'll put me ahead a little bit because right now I'm just I'm scrambling to stay on top of things and I feel like if I start Taking care of this, uh, I'll get a little bit ahead. And there are some really nice paperweights here, so I think it, it will it will make sense to have them preloaded. All right, so I'm going through this box of stuff I bought at the glass show, which I'm not sure you guys saw this video yet or not, but this is a box of things that I bought from Daryl. I bought some really spectacular pieces. Um, one of those I already have in the light box, and it is an iColt. It's an eye cold that I've never seen before. I've never seen this design and I am so obsessed with it. Um, I just love the coloring on it. Absolutely gorgeous. And it is marked here and it's actually dated 2014, so it's a newer piece. The colors are just fantastic. The iridescence on it. Um, so I'm gonna include this in Black Friday. All right, well, I'm going to call it quits here at the shop for today. I have to get to my hair appointment and tame this mess. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out at the shop with me today, getting ready for this Black Friday sale. Um, I'm still a little stressed about it. I'm feeling better though. I feel like we got some stuff done today. We got photos taken, we got the thumbnail done. And um, I'm really excited about some of the items we have picked for uh, this Black Friday sale. So hopefully you are able to join us. Um, it is November 24th, uh, Black Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern over on Whatnot. So if you have not heard of Whatnot, Whatnot is a live selling platform. It's a little different than your more traditional selling platforms in that it is live. So I am able to interact with you guys. Um, you can chat with me. Um, I can respond to questions. And um, it's, it's just, it's a lot more engaging than just list it and leave it and walk away and um, come back five days later and see if it's sold. Uh, so it's a lot more fun. It's, it's a lot more socially driven. And that's what I love about Whatnot. And I've been selling on there since I think January or February of this year. So it's almost been a full year. Uh, but I think this is going to be a great sale. And um, it, it's... We've got some good stuff picked out. So um, if you can't join us for Black Friday, we're going to have another sale um, on the second Sunday of December uh, for the paperweight sale. And I will put that date up here in the corner so you can maybe join us for that one. Um, but I have some links down in the description. I have a link for the Black Friday sale so you can bookmark that sale um, and be reminded, get a notification that, hey, it's time. It's time to come over and check it out. There's also a link to become a buyer over on Whatnot. Um, if you have not purchased from Whatnot before and you want to become a buyer, you want to um, purchase one of the items you saw me pick today for Black Friday, um, Whatnot will credit you $15 off of your first purchase. Um, so that's kind of exciting. You can get $15 off. Um, so you can go find that link in the description. And I also have a link to become a seller over on Whatnot. So if you want to give selling a try on Whatnot, not, there's a link for that as well. Um, those are affiliate links, so if you use my links, I do receive a small commission, and that goes to supporting my channel. Um, but that's not a wrap, and um, I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving, and uh, I will see all of you tomorrow.